I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in St. Paul, Minnesota for Back to the 50s and man, is this a show. Back to the 50s, I love it. I was here back in 1998. It was about 6,000 cars then, big show, but I'm telling you today, twice as big, nearly 12,000 cars and held right here in the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. This place is beautiful. It's like a small town, people cruising around, having a good time, but I got 12,000 cars to get around to, so I gotta get busy. That was cool. Yeah. Now that's a Minnesota vehicle for you. You got your Cedar Canoe. That's hilarious. <laughs> Dale, how you doing, man? Pretty well, Dennis. Oh, pretty well. This is fantastic, man. This is unbelievable. It is unbelievable, isn't it? To get 12,000 cars together on a very nice sunny day. Uh, no, a perfect sunny day. But 12,000 cars is a feat and not a lot of venues can handle it. The Minnesota State Fairgrounds is unbelievable. We've got over 100 acres of land here, of tree-lined streets. Right in the middle of St. Paul. Right in the middle of St. Paul, we've got another city within a city. You think of a fairgrounds, you think the cattle barn, the sheep area and stuff like that, and I'm sure you've got that here. But, but you look around, there's restaurants, there's a lot of kids, a lot of families, that people are chilling out, they're just having a dynamite time. It's all about the Minnesota nights. Minnesota nights, eh? You hey. know, they're pretty <laughs> nice. They are pretty nice up here, don't you know? Don't you know. Don't you? <laughs> and I'm telling you, there is some incredible stuff here. That's a lot of Oldsmobile. There sure is. You, you, what is it, the 41st year for the show? The 41st annual Back to the 50s weekend. And how many states do you think and, and Canadian provinces do you draw from? I'm guessing there will be more than 40 states and probably three Canadian provinces. It's just amazing. And you'll see everything here. 64 V4. The quality is really high too. There's some good craftsmen around here. The winters are long. We've got time to build some cars. <laughs> Plenty of time to work on the cars. <laughs> well, it's great, but there's 12,000 cars. We got to get going, man. Let's check a few of them out. All right. All right. Well, Gary, this is, you know, you're rolling in. I like weird things. <laughs> So naturally, I flag you down. Yeah, I noticed that <laughs> right I said, away. stop, stop. What is it? 1930 twin coach delivery. This one was used as a milk truck. Originally, you stood up to drive it. This is hilarious. You see Divco's, I love Divco's. I like yep. a lot of delivery trucks. But this I've never seen. It's a twin coach. Twin in, coach Ken, delivery. This is built in Kent, Ohio. Man, you know, right here, you almost get San Francisco streetcar. Pretty close. <laughs> it really, I mean, it really kind of ding, 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 you know, oh, kind yeah. of is. This looks like a gas filler cap, but it's, it's the original radiator. And I just kept that for show because that's what it looked like originally. And the glass here, I don't know if it's original glass, but this oh, no. is all new safety all plate. Safety plate tinted. Yep. But this is the same thing, a panel, panel, panel. Yep. And part of the thing I like about it is in fact the center door. You're driving <laughs> the thing from the center. Yep. This is weird, your, your, your ceiling? <laughs> I, I used to work for Cummins and I traveled a lot, so after a long time spent on airplanes, I found that those would fit. That's out of a Boeing 727. Well, I recognized it as because <laughs> I spend a lot of time in airplanes I, myself. I figured you probably <laughs> did. I can turn it on right there. Oh yeah, oh how nice. So now it really feels like an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's flat plates up front, they actually used curved glass back here. They had glass in here, but I cheated and I used Lexan. Okay, but it was actually curved glass. It was actually curved glass. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh, man. So you got a 350 in it now. What would it originally have been powered by? Four-cylinder Hercules. Oh, really? Yep. Built in Evansville, Indiana, by the way. And Hercules. I used to work at Hercules well, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And same thing here. You tricked up this back yep. bumper. Yep. It's just, this thing is so nice. We've got four daughters, and we married all four of them off in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you call it? Is that? Utter stuff. Utter stuff. And I see with the U, you got uh, a yeah, little the, bit of the utter, utter action so. there. <laughs> it seemed to indicate that it would be a milk truck, so. Man, I tell you, this is the first one of these I've ever seen. I may never see another one. 1930 Twin Coach Delivery. Delivery. That's Man, it. you made my day. Gary. Thank you much. Very <laughs> cool. Appreciate it. That's a beautiful car, man. Yowza. Great, man. This is. This is sweet. There's one sweet Woody, man. Thank 49 you. Ford, right? Yep. 
she's so clean, but it's still so 49. The front end used to say, what, Ford across there in it big said, clunky letters, yeah, right? Yeah, uh-huh, it said Ford over over here, and it used to have like a little little emblem. I think they call the term, they call it nosing it. But you still got the spinner. Yep, that's that's original. So that's actually even a stock bumper you've just yes. filled into bolts? just filled the bolts. She's also sitting down, are you on like air or something? It's on a fat man frame clip with two inch drop spindles. So I mean, this is ride height. This is ride height, this wow. is how it is all the time. Have you chopped this? There's a subtle chop. It's a two inch chop, but the windshield and the lift gate are the stock height. Did you do the wood no, too? No, no. Well, I did the fit and the finish. So much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the interior is absolutely gorgeous oh, too. Oh, thank you. Did a lot of subtle things in here. Kind of oh. emulated the older woodies with the wood headliner. The wood headliner is nice. And the back seat's actually elevated, isn't it? It is. Uh, yeah, it's theater okay. seating. Theater seating. <laughs> theater seating, absolutely. And then, is that the bump? That's not the stock bumper. The, no, those those are actually 55 Pontiac front bumpers. And then and, and you that, did created this too? That, yes, those are, that's quarter inch rod heated, um, hammered onto the car and then made the lenses out of flat stock plexi. And What's the color? It's kind of an off-white? It's called Harvest Moon Beige 2003 Volkswagen color. Now, you've done so much great stuff. I bet you did something kind of unique under the hood. Let's go see what that is. All right. This would have been a flathead originally, yes? This sir? was a flathead with the uh, oh. three speed on the column with an overdrive. Well, it's not a flathead anymore. No. This is a 4.6. This is the mod motor? This is the mod motor. The Ford mod motor. Yep. You run the computer and everything. She's all wired. This is this has got onboard diagnostic. It's running catalytic converters, and I could pull <laughs> it into a Ford garage if the check <laughs> engine light comes on, and they, they can. You just plug it in, they and plug they it say, in oh, the you got yeah. a, it's an yeah. oxygen sensor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which 49 Fords never had. Yeah. Right? yeah. You did a fantastic job. Oh. 1949. Ford Woody with a 4.6 mod Ford motor in it. That's right. You're the man. All right, thank Beautiful you very much. Beautiful car, Greg. <laughs> Nick, this is a beautiful Merc, man. 51 Merc, yep. chopped. You know, you've done a lot to it, but you haven't done a lot to it. Right. And, and I kind of like that. It's a sort of a unique combination of stuff you've done here. I mean, you're left to grill. So many people are going to change that, and they're going to yep. go to soda and everything. Yep. But uh, that's a cool grill. Yeah, I basically just got another 51 grill and we cut it and kind of cleaned up the front bumper, welded the holes, grinded it down. Now you've also, what, smoothed the bumper? Yeah, these had big chrome pillars that came up here. Yeah. So we took them off, welded those holes, grinded them, and then re-chromed it. So I just wanted it to look smooth and just have a big mouth for a front end. Oh, and it, it does. Now this this peak and the peak on the, the roof was stock yep, though, right? that's how it came. And then we just wanted to get the V-butt as close to that line as possible. What a cool uh, color. It's kind of, it's gunmetal, but there's some green in it. Yeah, yep, I have a love for green, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you and me both. <laughs> so. She's got a chop, but how much? Uh, we did about well, four in the front and six in the rear. Pretty normal chop. It could have been a lot more uh, dramatic, but well, we didn't right. want to. But you can see out of it. Exactly. You know, exactly. Which, is, which I, I kind of like yep, that. Yep, I, I still tuck my head, but I can see. And the interior, nice, comfy, but absolutely bone stock dash, yeah? Yep, yeah, I didn't want to do anything to it. No digital, I just keep it just keep it clean. So did it have the skirts on it when you yes, found it? Yes, it did, yep. And they're steel? Or yep, not? full steel, yep. Wow. It looks like you didn't change the window much. Did you lay it forward? Yeah, we did. We just cut it up through the back here, uh -huh. bent the window forward. And then in 51, this peak, here on the fender, that that was stock, yes? Yep, that runs right down to the 51 taillights. And these are these are Merc taillights? Yep, yep, they used to have a big chrome housing around it, so we made a basket and just Frenched them in, but just took off the piece around the side, just kept Gosh, it tucked it in. it is so clean. How about the back bumper, though? That has Back a... bumper is stock. We just re-chromed it, kept it clean, but that's how it looks. Man, I'm telling you, this is really, it's really a nice combination of stuff Thank you. that you did and stuff that you didn't do. Yep. It would just be totally great if it still had a flathead. Let's go see if it does. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so is that the engine that was in it? Yep. Oh man, Edelbrock heads on it. Yep. Three carbs, are they uh, 97s or whatever? Yep, 97s, yeah. they all work. Uh, main one runs it and the other two are just for overdrive. And it's so clean in here, I mean, you know, cleaned up the- Yeah, we took all the stuff off and then smoothed the firewall out. I just wanted to have a nice big flat piece because it is such a big engine bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a relatively small motor in there. I wanted the back to be really clean and smooth. Man, it's, I mean, this is a, this is a, it's a beautiful job. And it was kind of your dream car. It is. And you've been coming here since how uh, I bet you I was five, six years old. My parents have been coming here for 30 years, and so. <laughs> well, I tell you, man, Nick, 51 Merc, beautiful job. Thank you, I appreciate it. I love it. Ron, 58 Pontiac Bonneville. I love these cars. This is a pretty unique car. 6,000, I believe, made total. Is that all? So, yeah. Wow. I had one in 58 as a kid. Yeah, 19, I uh, bought a wrecked one and fixed it up 
just like this, and so I duplicated what I did when I was 19. This is a stock front end, right? Yes. And is that a cast grill? Yes, uh, Bonneville is the only one to have the cast grill. Uh, These are what, big uh, parking lights? Yes, the parking and directionals. Man, I mean, there's a lot of chrome up there. And what are your wheels? Those are billet specialties? Yes. Uh-huh. What, 18? 18 inches all the way around. But you've left all, I mean, pretty much all the trim, This, you know, these uh, front fender chromes and the, and the side, that's all 58 All trim is original. You know, the, the interior uh -huh. has obviously been redone, but is that, it's pretty much, it looks like it would have looked in 58. Stock gauging and everything? Yes, but I, I have a lot of things hidden in there. I have the air conditioning going through the ashtrays and uh, hidden stuff in the glove box, but other than that, it's all original there. And the side trim here, this it, that's a reflector in these, was that? Uh, well, it was originally, but it's there's lights in there now for cruising, yeah. It lights for cruising, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this dish in, and it's got a real rocket space look to it. The Sputnik went up that year, and uh, GM decided to go with the space age look. So that was, their, that was their response to it. Yeah. You kept all the chrome trim and stuff, but you shaved the handles, you shaved anything back here. These aren't the stock taillights though, are they? No, they're uh, 56 Oldsmobiles. With the space theme, this gives it the thruster <laughs> rocket look. Yeah. You've got the Indian graphics and, and that's well, it. A, I call it my dream catcher car, so oh, I got so a dream, dream catcher, catcher on the back. If you're keeping with the theme, I would say this has got the original Pontiac engine in it. Let's go look at it. Very good. Oh, you got Got some chrome in there. Ah, <laughs> Holy mackerel. A bit. <laughs> so is that a Pontiac engine? Yes, it's the original motor. I just all cleaned up, you know. So what was over. the displacement? Uh, 370, the only year it had 370, 370. cubic inches. Uh -huh. Now they didn't originally have dual master cylinders, did no, they? No, I you... put that in. Uh -huh. I have a 200R tranny in it, overdrive, and I put the air conditioning in, the power steering and everything. I made this to cover the uh, Condenser, it was kind of ugly up there, so. Uh -huh. Is she steel? Yeah. So you just kind of rolled it or? Made it, yeah, roll it. Man, so do yeah. you drive this baby? Oh yeah, all the time, yeah. Have yeah. to drive them. Got to drive them, got to. And again, I mean, there aren't a heck of a lot of them around. Do you get a lot of attention with it or do people oh, even know yeah. what it is? Well, they don't know what it is, but yeah. I get a lot of attention. They get a lot of attention yeah. probably because they don't know what it right. is. Hey, this is a great car, 58 Pontiac Bonneville. Perfect back to the 50s car, Ron. Nice job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Dave, this, this is really cool. When I when you came in, I said, oh, it's a Go-Go Mobile. Yeah. But it's not. And I was it's... like, what's a Go-Go Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you, had, you looked at me like I had two heads. <laughs> and you're driving the Go-Go Mobile. <laughs> but it's not, it's a, it's a what? It's a Auto Bianchi Bianchina. What year? 1960. Wild paint job. It's kind of a yeah. kind of a metal flake copper or what is it? What Corvette is it? Atomic Orange. Is it really? 2008. Because that's a pseudo grill it's a fake grill yeah these it's are a little engine cars but little square for the horn that's really oh, is that what that is yeah did yeah. it have a bumper or was this it that was it and did it have these little bumperettes or did yeah. you add those no those were those were there those are supposed to be rubber i'm they might be wood now <laughs> <laughs> they might be well you don't know but they they could be I, I love the fact that you've got the the rollback or what did they do you know what they called this back then it's or? the uh tress form of tress form of yeah what a dash you've got. That's basically it, Yeah, right? that, was, that was it. That was completely gone, and I had to figure out how to make that have numbers. Now, what are the two little knobs between? Left is the choke, right is the starter. So you just turn the key me? on. And you pull, pull that the lever, lever? And it's a solid wire back to a little oh. lever in the it, back. <laughs> it's kind of handy, though, because you can work on it in the back and start it with just pushing the lever. The thing that's amazing about these cars is how much space there is inside. It's very roomy. And what's hilarious is <laughs> There are engines at this show <laughs> that are bigger than this car. I mean, like physically bigger than this car. Yeah. Oh, okay. The now, massive what? power plant. The massive, the massive <laughs> power plant. So what, is, is this the original engine? No, originally it had a 500cc from, Fiat 500 is the drivetrain of these things. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, and uh, this is a 650cc. Whoa, the big block. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I went from 17 to 24 horsepower. 24 horse. horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> it's a four stroke? Four stroke. Two cylinder? Two cylinder. But it's not a boxer, are they, they're yeah, up and Yeah, both down. pistons go up and down at the same time. And Oh, you mean like? Yeah, yeah, so it's, uh, the, when I first pulled the engine apart, I'm like, what, 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 something's what, really what's wrong your... here. <laughs> well, how does this work? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. And, and do you drive it or is it a show car? I drive my cars. So have you, have you been to Back to the 50s before? I go every year, I've tried to, I've had a, Pass for this car for the last three years. This is the first, first time it's like made it there. Been here. <laughs> <laughs> so but this yeah. is the year. This is it. 1960 Auto Bianchi Bianchina. Bianchina. 
<laughs> it's just so very nice. It's going to yeah. make me cry. <laughs> Dave, that's beautiful, man. I love it. 1960. Oh, man. Back to the 50s is unbelievable. There aren't many places you can see 12,000 cars in one place, but you can here at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. If you believe in the concept of bucket lists, Back to the 50s ought to be on yours. <laughs> 